Hey guys, it's Adam AK Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. Now, I've been doing my duties here day in and day out as Mayor of Gooston, but if you've been watching a while, you know that I am well far behind here. I've amassed a ton of clips throughout the days, and we are nowhere near the present. I have no idea when the present will be by the time I post this. But my idea here is that I'm going to make a little digest of clips. Now, if, if something major happens in the town, like Pinky leaving, inevitably, or something like that, I will try to do a more focused episode on that, or at least show a substantial clip of it. But for a little while, we're going to do these digest episodes. Hey, Genji. And uh, <laughs> you'll get to see all the major events of Gustin. And I'll slow down, so if there's like a holiday, like Halloween or something, I'll definitely do a full episode on that. But uh, stuff like this, like you guys have seen the fireworks before, I'll show a little highlight of that. But things like that, we're going to just compact all of them. And then I can burn through a lot of these clips, get us back to the present, and you guys will be able to enjoy me actually talking about what's going on at the time, you know, of recording. <laughs> instead of, oh, hey, Katie's here. Hey, and a balloon. Jeez, there's lots of stuff going on over here. But anyways, yeah, I, I, I want to be able to actually, like, have you guys see the town in the present. And right now, we are very much in the past. So anyways... This is going to be the start of our first Digest episode, so I hope you enjoy, and uh, hang on for the ride, because we're going on a trip through Goostin. Is this rock and roll enough for you, Gracie? Bam! I got my kanji tee, my eye patch, my regal wig, my desert camo pants, and my Varia shoes. Let's do it. Fashion check. Rock and roll. Don't you sound confident? Well, I have another spare moment, so let's get started. It's time for Gracie's fashion check. Rock and roll, you troublemaker. You had one thing to do. Dress according to the theme. Let's see if you managed to pull it off. First, we must step back and view the outfit as a whole. Avery, get out of here. Does it meet my extraordinary, exorbitantly high standards? I see what you're trying to do here, honey. That's a bold move, mixing two styles like that. Did someone tell you it was okay to mix rock and roll with a basic look? Because they were lying to you. What? Is it my shoe? Is my socks? When you pull dynamic pieces together, they just cancel each other out. What's the point in that? So if you must mix moods, you have to find a way to let each individual item tell its own story, honey. Ah, uh, I'm wearing gray socks. Alright, I changed my gray socks to my soccer socks, since if you have a basic or official look, it contrasts with rock and roll, and Gracie is a poo-poo head. And now I even have a shovel for bashing rocks. What's more rock and roll than that? Alright, Gracie. You better pass me this time, because I want to get that Nook upgrade. <laughs> Alright, revenge. Let's do it. You have to clear your name? Good name then. Let's see if you manage to pull all together a stylish outfit. It's time for Gracie's Fashion Check. Rock and roll, you troublemaker. Alright, let's see. Uh, I see what you're trying to do. What? What am I mixing? Rock and roll and sporty. Oh, here. Okay, with a mix of rock and roll and sporty, I can almost picture she's sprinting by in a mohawk, honey. I can tell you were listening when I gave you that theme, because you completely nailed it. Yeah, everything except for my socks. Talent like yours deserves to be rewarded, don't you think? So here, here, take a Gracie Low table. Come straight from my personal collection. Think of it as a way of encouraging you. I don't have any room for this. Where am I putting this? Hmm, yet another enlightened fashion check. Very interesting. Each stylish experience has it uh, here is leading me closer to making a decision about opening a new shop. And now I must be off. But I'll be back again for yet another fashion check, so always dressed to impress. I don't want to see you in rags next time we run into each other if you get my drift. Ciao, honey. Alright, we are that much closer to getting Gracie into the town. Wow, Rock and roll. Katrina, when are you gonna come to my town? When are you gonna move in and just start charging me the same price for four tenths more frequently? I guess I could just use my lovely phone. Katrina, what does the future hold? What will happen to Gustin? What will happen to me? Will I burn all the trees to the ground and replant them? To my liking? Probably. Will I lay paths? Most likely not, but maybe. Mm, a stall at the summer festival. I see the owner gritting his teeth as you win over and over again. From this place, I can see the signs. Oh yes, I can. I see good fortune upon items. Plaid bottoms. <laughs> Alright. So I, I did get all the items from the uh, fireworks the other time. Like, the first time that Red showed up there. So I guess the fortune is talking about the past? I don't know. Remember the bedtimes are just times at our bed. Move to my town! Cranston, I heard you were sick, buddy, so guess what? I'm all dolled up. I'm ready to make you feel better. <laughs> Nurse Wario's here. <laughs> I just happen to have some of these clothes. And, uh, yeah, got this nurse's hat. So here you go, Cranston. Brought you some medicine. Oh, my belly feels so sick. I don't want to eat anything right now. Something's definitely wrong if I feel that way. 
Too many babies, man. How many babies you've been eating? You brought me medicine. You're like some kind of angel, Smoopy. There you go. Feel better, buddy. I'll be back tomorrow. No more babies, okay? Do okay, don't do a backflip when you're sick. <laughs> I'm definitely going to feel better now, right? I guess so. I'll hang out here just in case and watch you sleep. Alright. What are you looking at? Yeah, keep walking. Cranston, the feel better wizard is here. Hello, are you feeling better? Achoo! I wonder if I might have caught a cold. I've got more medicine, man. This is the third day. But I'm using my healed my healing magics on ya. Carrot cake flavored, no. It's just gross medicine flavored. Ugh, I should gargle some spiced chai to get this awful taste out of my mouth, but I think I feel a little better, so thanks, Schmoopy. Jeez, how many days are you gonna be lying up on your pineapple bed? Jeez, ugh. Confounded kids bearing bamboo shoots all over my town! A mayor's job is to be glad-handing dandies at the cafe and confectionery, not digging up bamboo shoots every Wednesday half past the morrow! Confound it! I used to be dancing the Charleston by now in this time of night, but no, I have to be digging up these bamboo, bamboo shoots! Fuffle! What is going on here, socializing in my town? Oh good, I've been looking for you, Smoopy, Newt Rule. Hmm, I feel like hanging out inside, but I'm sick of my own place. Oh, I know, I'm about to come hang at your house, Smoopy. Can I come over later? Sure, as long as, uh, you don't find me wandering around town later, then, uh, sure, we can do that. Let's, uh, how about three in the morning? How's that for you? Oh no, that doesn't work. Okay, an hour from now, do it. Alright, leave me alone, you bird! Goodbye. <laughs> oh, things are looking nice here in Gooston. Very peaceful. Oh, hello, rabbit. What? What would you like, rabbit? Rabbit, no. Rabbit, stop following me. Rabbit, I've got important meritorial duties to do. Rabbit, leave me alone. No, this is not sporting. Ah, fancy run around the tree, don't you? Let's go. I can keep up with you any day. Oh, take a me out of bird bath. You're in the tough like death, right? Ha 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 ha. I knew it. You want me to give you mine, don't you? Uh, I guess so, little robotic mechanical clockwork frogman. What? You're not excited. Come on. <laughs> Just take my tub. You know you want to. Oh, thanks, buddy. Uh, I guess I'll put this in the very back of my house where no one might find that I got a gift from a steampunk frog. Anyway, I don't remember wearing on out my thumb, though it's not like it's a big deal to me. Okay. That sounds criminal. Goodbye. We might never speak of this again. Oh my goodness. A very rare orchid mantis. Might I catch it, please? Yes, I need this for my collection. Awesome. Aha. This will go straight into the museum. Fetching. Not sure if this is three or four, but on the last day of summer here in August, it's Gracie. All right, let's see what she wants here. What is her style fashion evaluation today? Keep it basic. All right, that's easy. I'm basic. I'm a basic guy. All right, I'm going to go get basic. All right, can't get more old-timey than this. Dr. Old-timey pajama salesman. <laughs> this is all basic stuff, so let's see. Gracie, come on. Give it to me. I need the new store. I need the final Nook upgrade. All right. Does it meet her standards? It is a bit vanilla. I think you'd wear all one theme, don't you think? However, yes, basics. All right. If the outfit's a bit bland, that's not your fault. Sometimes in fashion, you got to keep it simple until you were listening when we gave you the theme because you completely nailed it, honey. Sound like yours deserves to be rewarded, don't you think? So here, take a Gracie's chest. <laughs> I don't want your chest. All right. I've got a few pieces of Gracie furniture, but more importantly, hopefully she'll move in. Oh, must be off, but I'll be back again for yet another fashion check. So we got one more to do, I think, and uh, then she'll move to town and we'll get the final store upgrade. Exciting. Haha. -ha. Well, that's it for August, guys. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Sorry for the delay whenever this gets up. <laughs> Next up is September, so hopefully that'll be an exciting month as well. See you then. Goodbye.